President Thaman Shamugaram and Prime Minister Li Xinlong wrote to Johor ruler Sultan Ibrahim Sultan Iskandar on Wednesday, January 31, to congratulate him after he was sworn in as Malaysia's king. The 65-year-old was installed as the 17th Yang Dipatuan Agon in a lavish ceremony at the Istana Negara in Kuala Lumpur. In his congratulatory letter, President Thaman said Sultan Ibrahim's dedication to the welfare and prosperity of his subjects was well known. I am confident that under Your Majesty's counsel and guidance, Malaysia will be brought to even greater heights, he said. Mr. Thaman noted that Singapore and Malaysia share a close friendship that has been built on strong people-to-people -people ties. In addition to close cooperation, between the two countries' governments and long-standing business relationships. I look forward to working with Your Majesty to ensure that these bonds continue to flourish. For the mutual benefit of both our peoples, he said. President Thaman also invited Sultan Ibrahim to make a state visit to Singapore at his earliest convenience. My wife and I offer our warmest wishes, to Your Majesty and Her Majesty Roger Zarif Sophia for continued good health and happiness. We look forward to seeing Your Majesty soon, he said as he concluded his letter. In his letter, Mr. Lee said that Sultan Ibrahim's vision of a cohesive and forward-looking Malaysia bodes well for the country's development. I am confident that Your Majesty will discharge the functions of the highest office in Malaysia with distinction and commitment, he said. Mr. Lee said that the multifaceted and enduring relationship between Singapore and Malaysia is grounded in the two countries' historical ties. The two countries work closely in multiple domains, both bilaterally and within the Association of Southeast Asian Nations, and in an uncertain world our partnership will be even more vital for the continued prosperity and security of our peoples. He said. Mr. Lee said Singapore is looking forward to strengthening its friendship and cooperation with Malaysia during Sultan Ibrahim's reign. Ho Ching and I wish Your Majesty and Her Majesty Roger, Sarif Sophia good health and happiness. And we look forward to welcoming Your Majesties in Singapore soon he added. Sultan Ibrahim has long held friendly ties with Singapore's leaders and has spoken about the special relationship shared between Johor and Singapore on multiple occasions. He was elected king in October 2023 after Malaysia's nine sultans met to vote on who among them would be the country's next head of state. The decision followed the established order of Malaysia's unique rotational monarchy system in which the country's nine hereditary rulers take turns to be the king for a five-year term. Sultan Ibrahim's late father Sultan Iskandar Sultan Ismail was the last Johor ruler to be young Dipatuan Agon, reigning from 1984 to 1989. Sultan Ibrahim succeeded Pahang ruler Al Sultan, Abdullah Riyadhan Al Mustafi Bila Shah, whose term as king ended on January 30th.